Cosmetics with Meg's Rex for Life, your pharmacist to help you guys get that healthy bod and that blissful heart. Today's video is a Thursday video. It's a video of my choosing and I decided to do it on my favorite steel cut oats. So this is a recipe that my mom does and it is so delicious. It's packed with nutrients. It's got really good ingredients and it's something that I can eat in the morning before I go to work and I feel full all day. Um, it's just a really good oatmeal to eat and it's delicious. So it also ties in really well with my content video that I did on Monday. That video was all about plant-based milks. So I have the almond milk and the coconut milk that are gonna tie in with Monday's video. So stay tuned and you guys will see the delicious recipe and the amazing oatmeal that it creates in the end. Stay tuned. All right, so to start out, I'm gonna go over all the ingredients you guys need for this. So you have to have milk. Um, I like to do the plant-based milks, and my mom, she always does half and half. So we're doing three-fourths of a cup of unsweetened coconut milk. And we're also going to do three-fourths of a cup of unsweetened almond milk. This is the organic one. Um, I actually talked about this in my Monday's content video. This one doesn't have a whole lot of calcium. It only has 4% in a cup. So that's why I'm combining it with the um, coconut milk that has 45% in a cup. Um, I just have to get rid of this because I had it in my video, so that's why I'm using that. Then I also need steel cut oats. I'm actually just going to do, it's a Kroger steel cut oats. Just get them at your local grocery store. So you need a fourth of a cup of those. Um, I kind of just do however many, however many nuts I want. So usually I'll probably do like a quarter cup of nuts. These are just um, some sliced almonds. I usually like walnuts, but I just don't have any at the house right now. Um, I also use a little bit of sugar, just a little bit, just a little bit, I dabble to you. And then I have some cinnamon, bam. And my favorite, um, I have some organic blueberries. These are Earthbound Farm Organic. Um, I love blueberries. They're so good for you, they have so many antioxidants. So those are the ingredients you guys are gonna need to make this. Um, I actually am able to do this in the microwave. That's why I really like it because sometimes people don't do the steel cut oats because you know, it takes a while to cook it. You're supposed to cook it on the stove top. You can actually do it in the microwave. So that's how I do it. So I just have a big bowl and we're going to start with the milk. So I needed to do three fourths of a cup of the coconut milk. So I'm going to shake that up really quick before I use it. Shake it up. So we're going to do three fourths of a cup of the coconut milk. I'm actually making this for my lunch today because I'm behind, the, behind the, the game on this one. So shake up the almond milk. The reason that she does the half almond milk and the half coconut milk is we like the flavor of the coconut milk. We just think it gives it a good flavor. Um, but also the almond milk kind of balances it out so it's not quite as rich. So I'm going to put this up to one and a half cups because that's the total amount you need. It's probably doing some invisible pouring right then. So this is the milk. Ooh, looks good. Now we're gonna dump that in here. Perfect. And then we're gonna do our steel cut oats. So we're gonna do a fourth of a cup of these. The bad thing is I lost my quarter cup measure for some reason, so I'm gonna do half of a half cup. Sometimes I have to do this kind of weird measuring. So steel cut oats, they're gonna go in here. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> and then that's basically already mixed you can give it a quick stir if you want um, the next thing is this is going to go in the microwave I microwave this for 10 minutes and then I just have a little cover a plastic cover I put on top of it to make sure it doesn't go anywhere but if you do a big bowl you can do it in there without having to worry about it bubbling over so it's perfect As you can see, it didn't go over. It almost did though. <laughs> That's how I lead my life, I guess. It's on the edge. So then I'm just gonna take my bowl. Oh wait, actually, I take that back. I'm not gonna do that. Never mind. Don't worry about the bowl. Now what I need to do is I need to take my blueberries and I'm gonna put them into a little bowl that's microwave safe because these are frozen blueberries and I'm gonna do about a half a cup. I like blueberries a lot so I'm gonna do a half a cup of blueberries 
And then what I'm going to do is just I'm going to zap them in the microwave um, for probably about 20 seconds um, just so that they get a little bit, little bit warm and so that the um, juice also kind of warms up and melts a little bit. So just pop these in the microwave for 20 seconds. So it actually ended up being 40 seconds to microwave it up to get it where the blueberries are warmer and there's kind of some juice. And you want to do it at 10 second intervals just to make sure that nothing bad happens in the meantime. So we've got those. This is also very dangerous because I am wearing a cream colored blazer. Did not think that through very well. Oh well. So then I'm going to take my bowl that I'm actually going to serve my oatmeal in and I'm just going to pour my blueberries in with all the juice. Yum. Okay. Put this in the dishwasher or the sink. And then I'm going to take my almonds and I just eyeball it, but I'm going to do about a fourth of a cup, which I think is about a little handful of this, just right into the oatmeal. And I'm going to stir that up. I like to have the nuts all incorporated with it. You could sprinkle it on top, but um, I like it mixed in. So perfect. So that's the consistency of the oatmeal right there. And then what I'm going to do is I like to put the oatmeal on top of it. So oatmeal on top. And then I'm going to just stir it up a little bit just so I get the blueberry juice. It's really actually pretty. It's very pretty. So making it pretty. And then to finish it all off, oh, I hope you can see all that. It's quite nice looking, the blueberry juice. Then to finish it all off, um, I just take a little container like this and I'm going to put a quarter teaspoon of sugar. I know you guys are like, really sugar? But this just tastes so good. My mom used to make a cinnamon toast when we were younger. Um, we'd, she'd just take toast, put butter, and then the cinnamon sugar. It was amazing. So sugar, just a little bit. And then we're going to add the cinnamon. Cinnamon's um, a lovely spice and it's good for you too. It's supposed to be good for your circulation. So I'm just going to do a little bit. I just kind of eyeball it, but I like more cinnamon than sugar. So just a little bit more, maybe a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of the sugar. And I just stir it all up. It's probably difficult to see, you know. Okay. And then I just like to sprinkle it onto my oatmeal. And there you have it. Ooh, my mom's steel cut oat recipe. Seriously, it's very delicious. You guys should definitely try this out. Oh, I have a spoon. So, just yum. Look how yummy that little spoonful looks. Mm -mm -mm. I hope you guys enjoyed my recipe today, the steel cut oats recipe, my mom's recipe, favorite steel cut oats recipe that I have. It's so delicious. It's so packed with nutrients. You guys should definitely try it out. Um, next Monday, my content video is going to be all about what you put on your body. So it's going to be about skincare. Make sure you guys tune in for that. And as always, thank you guys for watching my channel. Subscribe if you guys like my videos so I can keep making content for you. Um, thank you guys so much. Have a great day.